yellow spring sign. It's a little big, so I don't have it on the board. But basically, your board is already painted. If you wanna add some color to it, you're welcome to. But I'm gonna leave it white, so that way I can make my hello spring really colorful. So I'm just gonna take all my pieces off. And everyone has some different color paints. So I am gonna take all my pieces. You're gonna need some water and some a paper towel on the side, and then eventually you will need some glue. But right, not right now, we're gonna paint everything right now. So everyone has a whole bunch of different paints, but you definitely have some green. <laughs> so what I am gonna do first is I am gonna paint my stem of my flower. So basically you could do whatever colors you'd like on your piece. This is just acrylic paint, so if you have any more paints at home, you're welcome to use them. So I'm just gonna stir up those paints and start painting everything. I'm gonna probably put one coat on everything and then come back and put a second coat on a whole bunch of stuff. My plan is to do the spring all greens and then the hello purple as well as the flower purple. So I am just gonna start some of the colors, I might do two types of green, some of them I might do one, we'll see. So I'm gonna just start painting. And I'm not worrying about the edges of my letters, but if you wanna paint your edges, go for it. This one I think will be fun if I incorporate a little darker color on the bottom. And like that as well. spring dry a little bit to the side. I'm gonna leave my flower out and I'm gonna wash and dry my brush because I'm gonna work on some purples. So I think I'm gonna do, let's say I'm gonna do light purple on the hello. So I'm just gonna open that purple. I'll do light purple on both the hello and the flower and then I'm gonna add like a little dark purple detail. So I'm stirring up that light purple and I am just going to start painting my flower. When you paint your hello, a little paint goes a long way. Paint get, likes to get in all those little crevices, so. Just have to be careful.
I'm gonna open that dark purple. I'm gonna make the hello two-toned, like just like I made my letters. So I'm just gonna put a little dark on the bottom of that hello. I'm gonna get another coat on my tulip. Going back with some dark and then putting some light into it. my pieces are all dry and I'm gonna start going back. I lay them all out and now I'm gonna start going back and gluing them. It's really important that you lay everything out just in case to get spicing right, a spacing right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just using wood glue but you could use any Elmer's glue, tacky glue. A little glue goes a long way and I'm just putting a bunch of glue on the back. Most glues dry clear so you don't have to worry about it that much. Now I'll start doing my letters one by one. everything down I'm gonna step back make sure everything's centered as best you can so there we have our hello spring sign you should have a little handle on top so you can once it's dry you can hang it up however you'd like I hope you guys have a great spring and see you soon